This tutorial will show you how to set up single sign-on in iSpring Learn. Let's say you already have a website where your users log in. Single sign-on allows your users to authenticate automatically with iSpring Learn using the same ID. Just as one Google ID will let users sign on to Google+, YouTube, Gmail, and more. Not only can users sign in to iSpring Learn using SSO, new users can also register. Note that you will need web development skills to set this up. Start by clicking Settings in the iSpring Learn interface. Now click in the address bar and add slash SSO slash JWT to the end of the URL. Check this box to enable a JSON Web Token login for this account. If you want to learn more about JSON Web Tokens or JWTs, click this link. These fields are populated automatically by iSpring Learn and cannot be changed. Here you should enter a cryptographic key which corresponds to the secret ZZZ value of your JWT. Here you should enter the address of the page on your website that will send a JWT to log in a user. If you also have a web page that sends a JWT to log out a user, you can enter it here. Otherwise, users can access the standard logout function from iSpring Learn. When you're done, click Save Changes. That concludes the configuration on the iSpring Learn side. For more detailed instructions and PHP code examples on GitHub, check out the article in the description below. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.